Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your daily dose of zombies news from the game and its community here on COD Zombies HQ, and oh man, do we have so much to talk about. Where of course, Treyarch revealed a lot of new zombies content coming to Black Ops 6 soon, but it's what they didn't say that I think you'll find very interesting, as new leaks reveal the new perk coming to this game will be one that no one saw coming, but will likely be very powerful once we get our hands on We've it. got a whole Whole lot to talk about today, so strap in and let's get started with the first story of the day. Treyarch revealed a lot about new content coming to Black Ops 6 within Season 1. Among that new content is, of course, the brand new Zombies map that will be releasing in Season, likely on December the 11th. But they also teased that a new perk would be added into this game, but they didn't reveal which one. Thanks to leaks, we now know what perk that will be, and it absolutely wasn't the one we were expecting. A lot of speculation prior to today revolved around these two perks, Double Tap Root Beer and Mule Kick returning sometime in Black Ops 6. While that is still very likely the case, especially for Mule Kick coming back in this game, it seems it won't be the one coming back in Season 1. Instead, a trusted leaker reality over on Twitter revealed that the perk that will be added with Season 1 will be... Vulture Aid. And I am absolutely sure we're at the point in the history of COD Zombies where a lot of you are saying, what in the heck is that? But I'm pretty sure that Vulture Aid will be an awesome perk in this game, super strong that I guarantee you'll be buying early on in your matches. That's because Vulture Aid will likely combine some of the most powerful progression effects we've seen in a Zombies match. What does that mean? Well, first of all, when you buy Vulture Aid in Black Ops 2, where the perk debuted, zombies had a chance to drop ammo for your weapon on the ground. Then Treyarch liked that idea so much that back in Cold War, they didn't add Vulture Aid, but they added one of its major effects as an upgrade to the perk Mule Kick. While it still seems very likely that we'll be seeing Mule Kick at a later date here in Black Ops 6, the ability for zombies to drop ammo will be exclusive to Vulture Aid. And with the amount of ammo you use in this game, the amount of times you've got to buy to refill, regular zombies dropping that extra bit of ammo will be an absolute lifesaver. But that's not all that this perk does. At its core, Vulture Aid is definitely one of those more defensive, passive perks than the kind that'll let you take down zombies faster. Instead, it'll let you get stronger, faster. When using Vulture Aid in Black Ops 2, you would be able to see certain things through walls, like wall buys, the pat machine, mystery box, perk spawns, and things like that. That was one of the major effects in that game. I'm not sure we'll be seeing that translated here to Black Ops 6 because we have a mini-map in this game now if you want to use it. Instead, I think Treyarch is going to start grabbing upgrades from the Death Perception perk back in Cold War that will be used as upgradable augments for Vulture Aid in BO6. Let's take a look at what they could be. Firstly, the level 5 upgrade for this perk will probably be returning as a base effect of Vulture Aid in this game, where nearby chests, resources, and item drops are keyline through walls, so you'll be able to far more easily identify and pick up salvage drops if you're not just constantly running around in a circle. I'm sure you salvage gremlins out there, and I say that lovingly, you know who you are, who absolutely need to pick up every piece of salvage will absolutely love this. I would also expect that we'll see this effect of Vulture Aid appear as an augment, or maybe even a base effect too, where you gain a 20% more looted salvage than you would without the perk. Getting that early Early on in your game, 20% more salvage means you can get to a higher rarity far faster than you could normally, and all of a sudden you're starting to see why Vulture Aid could be a very powerful perk, especially early on in your game. Later on, you're at round 25 to 30 and beyond, Vulture Aid stops having that much of an impact, maybe beyond the ammo drops, but before that point, getting yourself upgraded, I think that this would be pretty powerful. And I'm sure Treyarch has thought of ways to keep this perk relevant in the late game too, so it'll be interesting to see any other effects that Treyarch is cooking up when the perk does release. I was really expecting, along with most of the leakers it seemed, for this first perk to be Mule Kick, but in this case, Reality says, well, the full perk itself, the files to actually activate it, aren't in the files, 
but Vulture Aid already is, and if anything's coming first, it's Vulture Aid. But that's not all that's been leaked. Track has announced that a new field upgrade will also be added to the game, with the leakers revealing that that field upgrade will be Frost Blast from Black Ops Cold War. Some of you might have really positive memories with this field upgrade because it was the first one to be unlocked in that game. I didn't really use this field upgrade pretty much at all in Cold War Zombies life cycle. If you want to see its effects in game fully upgraded, this is what it looks Casting like. Casting a ring around the player where a blizzard takes place, slowing, freezing, and potentially taking down any zombies affected by it for a limited time. This could absolutely get you out of a bunch of sticky situations, but it seems like when it comes to field upgrades, players are most excited for Treyarch to bring back something called Ring of Fire from Black Ops Cold War that massively increase your damage when you are standing inside of it. Next, Treyarch says a new ammo mod will be added with Season 1 as well, and unlike Vulture Aid and Frost Blast, it seems like this one is actually totally new content that we've never seen before. Reality is calling it Light Ray, we don't know if that's the final name for the ammo mod, but at least it is something totally new that we haven't seen before. Next up, Treyarch revealed that also included within Season 1 is something that I am a very excited for, because Treyarch started to dabble with this in Black Ops Cold War Zombies, just tried it a few times. But Treyarch has noted before this game came out that they want to do more limited time events and modes in Zombies, and that is exactly what they announced to be coming with Season 1. Right now, Treyarch has announced a global event that'll go live sometime in the next few weeks before the mid-season. In the past, there's been multiplayer challenges for big global COD events, as well as Zombies challenges to complete for rewards. So hopefully that is the case for this event as well. But Treyarch also says that likely to be revealed around the same time as when the new Zombies map comes out, they'll release a new Zombies-focused event event and limited time modes plural. So more than one LTM is coming to zombies in the next two months. I think we can already guess what one of those will be. It'll be a Christmas themed LTM. We saw Jingle Hells as the Christmas event for zombies back in Black Ops Cold War. We'll probably see a similar version to that repurposed for Black Ops 6 as well. But there is another limited time mode coming to zombies that no one has leaked and Treyarch refuses to speak about right now. I think that's pretty exciting. Beyond just new maps, new ways to play zombies, a new objective for players to complete in the mode is definitely one of the best ways to keep zombies fresh. I know that there's been leaks in the past that grief mode will return at some point, either in Black Ops 6 or in the future, with if you don't know, grief mode being a PvPVE game mode where two teams of four battle to stay alive the longest in a zombies map. We've been wanting it back for for a very long time, and now that Treyarch is focusing more on limited time modes, maybe we'll see it return, hopefully permanently, here in Black Ops 6 Zombies. But that wraps up the news today, guys. I want to thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy it, consider hitting that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because I'll see you with another Zombies news update tomorrow. Peace.